Hey YouTube, so this is a quick follow-up video to a prior video I made. You see it on my screen right now about how I went about fixing a Polaris Zodiac uh, pool robot. Um, this uh, repair wasn't approved by Zodiac or Polaris, but it worked for me, so I wanted to share it with people. I was previously selling the boards you see on the screen here, however, uh, now there's been some changes uh, to online retailers like eBay where if you sell more than $600 a year, you have to provide them with your social security number and they have to send you IRS 1099 forms, which really makes it cumbersome. It's just not worth my time anymore. So uh, I'm open sourcing it, and putting it out there for anyone who would like to use it. So in order to make these boards, uh, here's what you have to do. You have to go to my GitHub repository. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with GitHub, it's a uh, site where software engineers will place their code so that they can work on it and have it backed up. They can share it. I'm sure most of you who are watching this are probably already familiar with it, have accounts. Uh, most millennials do. If you don't, in order to download the code, you're going to need to create one. It's probably worthwhile and will help you down the road and it shouldn't take more than a moment or two and it's free so uh, okay so once you're at this page uh, here's the link right here it'll be in the comments on both videos you're going to uh, have to sign in and in order to do the download most likely you're going to click on code and then you're going to click on download zip I've already done this um, and I have it here in my downloads once you have these files, these files are referred to Gerber as Gerber files. Incidentally, I used to work for Gerber Technology, the company that invented them. And uh, once you have these files, any manufacturer can make them these boards for you. So uh, I'm going to show you a site that I personally use and like. It's called Oshpark.com. Uh, they're a board manufacturer out in Oregon. They uh, make very good quality boards at a modest price. They cater to small production runs for hobbyists and tinkerers. So uh, you don't have to use this site, but this is what I use and I like it. So, uh, I, and I, I'm not affiliated with them. I'm not getting a spiff off this. I just think they make good stuff. So uh, you come here, oshpark.com. You click on browse for files. Uh, you select the uh, zip that you just downloaded off my repo and double click on it and now it's uploading the site uh, quickly processes the files that are contained within that zip and they're going to show you what you're getting uh, this is a visual representation of the board not the scale and here they give you the cost uh, as of the recording of this video october 1st 2022 they're offering three of these boards at a cost of eight dollars and five cents. Pretty darn reasonable, I think. Uh, they may charge you shipping if you're here in the states, as I am. Then that, that you can have it sent via the U.S. Postal Service uh, for I think like another two, three bucks. So for under twenty dollars, you'll have three boards, and you can execute the repair that I show you in the prior video. Uh, okay, so if you're still watching, I just have one uh, request. Uh, you know, I, I open source things uh, because uh, I, I like putting content out there and helping people. Um, I, and I have a small ask. I, I, I'd ask that you consider also helping others uh, and paying it forward uh, by don't making a small donation to stjude.org. Uh, they're a children's hospital that uh, treat children with cancer. If you're not familiar with them, it's, it's a really good... Uh, place that uh, would be worthy of your support. All right. Hope this helps and uh, take care.